Hello, I'm Cheryl Williams Hexel, and I'm the coordinator of the Evidence Based Trauma Treatment Certificate at the School of Social Work at MSU. The certificate's been around for about 10 years. Just a few years ago, we were able to expand it so that we now have two tracks. The first track that a student could choose is to focus on treatment of children and adolescents. The second track has a focus of working with survivors of relationship violence and sexual assault. Once you choose those tracks, you then have required coursework, training, and a specialized field placement. Let's talk for a minute about the coursework. The first required course is the Core Concepts in Child and Adolescent Trauma course. It's a three credit course. Students in both tracks take that course. It, it uses problem-based learning, is based upon a core curriculum developed by the National Child Traumatic Stress Network. It uses problem-based learning in five cases that really ground students in understanding a set of core concepts about childhood um, traumatic stress and uh, developmental issues related to trauma. That's a three credit elective. The next elective course that's required is treatment applications and trauma. The treatment applications and trauma course is, um, there are two sections, one for each track. That course happens simultaneously with the student being trained in learning and evidence-based practice. The evidence-based practice that's a that's associated with the children and adolescents track is trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy or TFCBT and the evidence-based practice that is associated with working with survivors is cognitive processing therapy or CPT. So that one credit elective includes that training. There's additional supports to help students in learning the model that they're trained in and that that includes an integrated field seminar that goes along with their field placement. To back up just a minute, that coursework is taken in the summer before your clinical field placement. It's helpful to take that right before field because then you have the opportunity to apply the learning in um, almost immediately after you're trained. The field placements are in agencies that have clinicians that ha are dedicated to learning the evidence-based practice and implementing the models. So students will have that um, opportunity within the agency to learn and become proficient in the model that they're trained in. There, the other supports that we provide include that integrative seminar I mentioned, and in addition to that, there are opportunities for clinical case consultation that students participate in with field instructors. The student and field instructor clinicians come together in those consultations, prevent, present cases, and have access to experts consultation around those models. So if you're interested in pursuing the certificate, you should plan on um, applying when you apply for field placement for your final placement. Advanced standing students would apply as if they're full-time as soon as you're admitted to the program. All other students, um, including advanced standing part-time, regular MSW students, are going to start, are going to apply in November for the next academic year. So plan on applying for the certificate when you apply for your final clinical field placement. I hope that's helpful and I, hate, I hope to get to know some of you as you, per, if you choose to participate in this certificate. Take care.